Okay, so this tutorial is kind of a uh, follow-up on the first one on uploading images. And um, in this one, what we're going to look at is actually uploading your own, own images um, using a file transfer protocol application. Um, so what we found with the ATutor wiki was that the, uh, the internal file upload system doesn't work very well. It, uh, we, have the, we had the image bleeding onto the bottom of the page here. So what we did was we looked at uh, linking images that were uh, external to ATutor. Um, but another uh, scenario that may happen is that you have an image that you want to display um, that isn't on the internet that you might have on your own computer. And the easiest way to do this is uh, to use something called FTP to upload the image to uh, to upload it server side, and then you can then link it. Uh, and it's good to if you don't already know how to use FTP programs. For those of you that are in the program, it's good to kind of get used to uh, uh, using a program like this because whenever you're building websites or working with any kind of web technology, you're really gonna have to learn how to use. Um, something like this. So what we're going to use is uh, an open source program called FileZilla. It's actually free and you can actually download it for free from download.com. <laughs> you don't have to sign up for anything or give any of your information. Just click in FileZilla. It's F-I-L-E-Z-I-L-L-A. And the first one that comes up there which is this one here. Um, alternatively, if you're a Mac user, you can actually just Google FileZilla. Actually, you might as well just do it this way. And go to their homepage, and there's actually an instance that you can download uh, that's either uh, for PC, Mac, or Linux environment, whichever one you prefer. Um, and you're looking for the client one. You don't want to download FileZilla server. So you just click on Client, and they give you all the different options there. It's completely free. And what we're going to do is, uh, we're assuming that you download it and everything goes well, uh, you're going to get something that looks like this. And you're not going to be connected, but let's just disconnect here. Uh, um, so you're going to see something that looks like this. And ignore all the, uh, all the stuff that's going on in here. What you want to pay attention to are these two screens here. And it's actually fairly simple once you get the hang of it. Um, essentially what you're doing is you're transferring files client side, which is your computer here, to the server, which is server side. And um, that's exactly what you're looking at here. This, this palette here are all the files that are located on your computer. So what you're going to want to do is um, search for the computers locally on your computer and you're literally just going to drag them over to the server. Now you're probably wondering where you're actually going to be storing your actual files. Um, since you're all students, you actually all have actual server space. Um, U of T gives you, I think it's 100 megabytes of server space. So we're going to be using that to um, to get to your uh, get to your server space. And if you're curious how to get there, all it is is uh, the actual URL for the for UTSC. And then all you're going to do to the URL is tack on whatever your UTSC ID, not your UTOR ID. So your UTSC ID is the year I, that you started, um, then your last name, first five digits of your last name, and then the first digit of your first name. Um, so in my case, it's 03 Tracy S. If you don't recognize this, uh, this ID, then you have to go to the student help desk, and they'll tell you what it is, and they'll sort you up. Uh, sort you out. So if you actually just click on the um, the UTSC URL plus uh, your UTSC ID, it'll actually take you to your public web space. And uh, I, I, you can use this for storage, but just make sure that you know that this is public in the public domain, so anyone can access it. But what we're going to do in this case is that we're going to use this program here to upload um, the image to our web space, and then we're going to link to it uh, on ATutor. So this is uh, if you have images on your computer that you want to use um, in, on the wiki to display to display a chart or if you create like a, a flow chart or something like that. So now that you've downloaded um, FileZilla, if you do in fact know your UTSC ID, again if you don't know it you have to go to the student help desk. All you're going to need to know is your username and your password and this is the exact same username and password you would use for your UTSC webmail 
Um, so if you use your webmail, you already know your username and password. Otherwise, you're going to have to go to the help desk and they'll sort you out. So to log into um, uh, your to FTP up to your web space, you need to know three things: the host URL and then your username and password. Don't worry about the port. Uh, you'll only need to know this when you if you know what you're doing. Uh, but it, the default part of the port is always the same unless you've changed it. So don't worry about it. Uh, to connect to your UTSC web space, the URL is going to be Fisher. So it's F I double -S, S S U R E. Um, dot utsc dot utoronto dot ca. So it'll always be this. This is so you're telling the FTP program to look at this address, and then after that you're going to put punch in your username, which tells it to look at that specific the folder on that server, and then you just plug in your password. And when you click Quick Connect, assuming you've typed this in all right. Um, you'll notice that a couple of a whole slew of files will show up over here, and what you're actually going to look for is a file called public underscore HTML. This everything inside this folder will be what shows up when you go to the actual address. So you want to double click on this. Oops. Oh. And I'm having a bit of trouble here. Uh, there we go. Okay. Seems the uh, double clicking function on my keyboard is broken. Okay. Um, so now that we're inside that folder, you're actually viewing all the folders that are located uh, server side on your on your web space. So all you have to do is upload the file um, and then you'll have the actual URL. Now one thing to note, um, you can create new folders by just right clicking going create directory and say we just call it new. To access this actual folder the URL will actually just be the utsc.utoronto.ca slash your utsc ID plus the new name of the folder that you gave it and now we're actually in that the uh, the actual you we followed the URL to that actual folder that we just created um, so but what we want to do here is we want to actually just upload an image to the main area main uh, main domain here so we're just going to use this test image here and all you have to do is literally drag and drop it over from the left side to the right side and you'll notice that at the bottom here it'll tell you that it's it'll show you it as it downloads and then successful transfers it'll tell you that it, it was successfully moved if it says failed um, something must have happened during the process you can actually just right click and uh, re-edit to the queue queued files and then re-queue it up and it'll, and it'll download so now if we go back here and we click reload, you'll notice that there it is right there and you can just actually click on the image. And you'll notice like before we have a direct URL to the image that we want to uh that we want to link to. So all you've done here is you've uploaded it to the web and now it's sitting right on your server so you can actually just uh copy this URL, go back into the wiki and since uh, just like you remember before all you have to do is paste the URL in there and close it in square brackets and it'll show up there for you so again all we've done here is we've used a uh, file transfer protocol application to uh, upload an image to our server and we're linking to it and just to remind you, in uh, your what you unless you have another server uh, that you want to use, uh, your web space is going to be found at this address. So you want to type Fisher F I double S U R E dot U T S E dot U Toronto dot C A into your uh, into the host for the program that you're using, and then username and password will be your U T S E ID. Okay.